nation statues paying homage to Confederate soldiers are being taken down by local governments or torn down by protesters because of their ties to slavery. One Tennessee representative tweeting about the movement of statues coming down, but clarifying which statues he was referring to. Congressman Tim Burchett posting on Twitter yesterday saying, quote, if you blame your problems on a statue of someone who has been dead over a century, then you only have yourself to blame. Burchett tweeting this morning that he was referring to George Washington and Teddy Roosevelt. A statue of Washington was torn down on Thursday in Portland, and American Museum of Natural History is removing a 1940 statue of Theodore Roosevelt because the figure is flanked by a Native American and an African, stoking calls of colonialism. M a museum rep saying they object to the statue, but not to Roosevelt. Great grandson of the president, Theodore Roosevelt IV, also agreeing with the move. I spoke with Representative Burchett over Zoom. He says he he doesn't oppose removing controversial monuments so long as it's done legally. If it's done in a legal manner, that's that's one thing. But if it's done by a mob, that is wrong. It does not need to happen by a mob. You need to put, they were put up under a, a legal circumstances and they be down under those legal circumstances. Vandalism and destruction of property is not the way. Well, meanwhile, Governor Bill Lee pledged to hold a meeting soon to remove controversial Confederate Army General Nathan Bedford Ford's bus from the Tennessee State Capitol. Congressman Burchett says that monument should be taken down, blaming decades of Democrats leading the state for having it put in place.